Well, congratulations. You have beaten the poison. You know, I woke up this morning and this roach was on its back. Isn't that right, Lucky? That roach was on its back because the orchid man came yesterday and this little roach right here, he walked in the poison. He was laying on his back because that poison was making him not feel so good. And he might have been reading this book, Dr. Seuss, but I don't really know. But he pushed through and he rolled over and now he's cleaning his little mouth. You know, he's, he's pushed through that. He knows that he's from like one of the greatest species ever to exist, the American cockroach. As you can see, his back doesn't have any wings because he's like a, a teenager roach. Like he doesn't even care that I'm like taking a video of him. He's like, okay, don't mind me. I'm just gonna uh, clean myself right here. Looks like he might have like pooped his pants or something when he was almost dead. But now he's alive. Oh, he looks rather friendly. You know, these roaches, they, they're like, I don't know. I've made other videos about roaches, but they're just like so interesting. Like you don't want them in your house, but they don't give a crap. They just keep coming in and they're like, okay, yeah, try me, try to poison me. I shall prevail. And now there he is, he's prevailed. He might be a girl, I don't really know. I can't really tell if they don't have their wings, whether they're a boy or a girl, but I was about to flush this one down the toilet this morning and I just, I was too lazy and I didn't do it. And then I look at him and he's, he's good. He's taking a bath. He grooms himself like a cat. Look, what are you doing, Lucky? Are you grooming yourself? What are you do look, doing? Hi. You want food too. Look at all this food on the floor. This is cereal that Ayla threw on the floor. She's a baby. She sits in this high chair and she throws all of her food. Were you trying to get Ayla's food? Well, I might as well give you some since uh, she's not eating it. Come on. Excuse me, baby kitty. I'm gonna feed the roach. That's baby kitty. He's, he's 19 years old. He's an old man. But you're a young roach. This is some cinnamon checks. Would you like some cinnamon checks? Here you go. That's for you. Are you hungry? Or are you just bathing? Hi. I know, this roach is not my pet, but I fed it some breakfast. He doesn't seem interested at the moment. But sometimes, you know, you'll give him food and they'll, they'll eat it. Maybe he's just confused because he's his brain is affected by the poison. He doesn't care that I'm just looking at him. Or maybe he knows that I'm not gonna do anything because Maybe they all talk about me behind my back and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just gonna, she's just gonna not ever step on us. Hey, look, you like it? Mmm. It's tasty. It has yummy cinnamon on it and it's gluten free. So you don't have to worry about getting bloated when you eat it. You know, I have this problem. I can't, I can't kill them. I get my house exterminated, but whenever I see a roach, there's something kind of cute about them. Like, I don't know why, but isn't that just adorable? Look at it eating that cinnamon thing. Should I keep it as a pet? What do you think? Maybe I should keep it as a pet. Look how cute it is. <sighs> Maybe I'll just put it outside and let it be free after he finishes his breakfast that, that I gave him. You know, I'm sorry you got poisoned. It's nothing personal, but I'm allergic to you guys. Did you know that roaches can cause asthma? Yeah. And you just, you all keep coming in and overtaking my whole house. And you know, I'm a nice person. I give you food. This is the same food I feed my own children. And now I'm feeding it to you because I'm a nice person. But you guys just gotta stop coming in. Just live somewhere else. Live under the pavement. There's cracks in the pavement. You can go down there and have a colony or something. But this is just not the place for you, and I'm just gonna put you outside later. Okay, well, I guess that's all. Goodbye, enjoy your food.